Why did I turn down my entrance to Cooper Union, NYU, and Columbia? In this video, I'll break down the decision-making process for choosing the right graduate program for you, and at the end, I'll explain why I turned down all those schools. Your first decision should be, do you even want to go back to school? Do you enjoy the field that you'll be majoring in? Perhaps a degree in business or administration would be more suitable for your career goals. Just like undergrad, when you start, you should be committed to finishing your degree. After deciding to go for your graduate school, you should find out how important a master's degree is for your field. To save you time, here are the two sides of the argument. On the pro side, many of the larger companies require or would like to see a master's degree on your application. Having a degree allows you to take your PE exam with only three years experience instead of four. A master's degree helps you with career advancement and promotion. An advanced degree helps you become a better engineer. You can take specific courses on topics you don't encounter on a typical day, and you can expand your engineering range. On the con side, you don't need a master's degree because once you get your PE license, you can advance your degree in almost any state in the US. Experience plays a better role in teaching you to become a better engineer than any advanced degree. Cost of tuition and expenses that come with attending school. Time. For a full-time school, you're putting your career on hold for a whole year. If you're doing it while working, class, homework, studying, on top of working, can be a lot. If you think I left out something from either side of the argument, please let myself and others know in the comments below. Once you decided a master's degree is correct for you, look into schools in your area that offer the degree you want. If there are no schools in your area, you can look into an online program. Now that you have a list of your top schools in your area, it's time to do a side-by-side -side comparison of them. The top items to compare are reputation, class options, travel time, and tuition. The first two, class options and reputations, depend on why you're going to get your master's degree. If you're only going to learn more information to become a better engineer and not necessarily for career advancement, then a lesser reputable school may be a better option. If you're going to learn about a specific topic, then a larger school that has a luxury of offering a variety of classes may be the better pick. The way I view travel time is how much is my time worth? Once you have a rough idea of how much you value your time, you can see how much you're willing to pay to go to a more local school. Tuition is probably the biggest factor that outweighs the rest of what I just mentioned. If a school is expensive and you don't need to get your degree, I personally don't see a reason to take out a loan just to get a master's. Additionally, if the travel time is more convenient, do the calculations and see if your travel time saved from a more local school is worth paying the money. My approach is to avoid taking out any student loans if possible, because I don't think overpaying for a master's, especially when you can get a job in the field with just a bachelor's, is a smart investment. As I promised, here's my decision-making process that led me to decline my acceptance from NYU, Columbia, and Cooper Union. After deciding that I wanted to go for my master's, I looked into school options located in New York City. I created a spreadsheet listing all the schools available and whether they had a program that I was interested in. After narrowing down my decision to several schools, I looked at the travel time from home and from work to each of these schools. I compared the price of each school per credit in the same spreadsheet. After get, taking the GRE, I applied to all the schools on my list. The reasoning behind this was in case I didn't get accepted to my top school, I would still have backup schools that I could go to. For Cooper Union, the travel time was good, but being that it was a smaller school, the class selection didn't match up with what I was looking for. For NYU, the travel time was phenomenal, but the tuition was incredibly steep. And since I already graduated from NYU, a brand name college, from the same price, I could go to Columbia and have NYU and Columbia on my resume. Columbia and City College are right near each other and far from me. So the travel time would be terrible for both of those schools. So the dilemma was, is Columbia worth a long trip and the steep tuition rates? Ultimately, I decided to go to City College instead of Columbia or any of the other schools I mentioned, simply because the tuition rates and what I'm going to get my degree for just match up. I'm going to get my degree to learn more about engineering and not necessarily for career advancement or to get a job. At the end of the day, everyone's situation is different and therefore there's no one blanket statement or rule to follow for picking an engineering master's program. The best thing to do is do your research and make an educated decision based on the data you have available. At the end, when you pick a school, don't look back at the what ifs of the situation. Just remember that you made an engineered, educated decision and that's what's best for you. Thank you for watching and if you found this video helpful, please leave a like and tell your friends about this channel. If you're a young civil engineer starting out in the industry, subscribe to this channel for more content to help you start and grow as a professional. I post a video every other week, so hit the bell to be notified when that happens. 
Thank you for sticking around to the end of the video. And as always, stay civil.